Greetings from your Grady here with special report on Buckshaw Walter Earth Based Records News on Ukraine, the energy war on the Ukraine on the verge of energy war. This is the background, the uh, current situation, the expectation with the uh, troops expected, Russian troops expected to invade Kiev any day now. First and foremost, the cause of the economic crisis in Ukraine is, of course, the building of uh, Nord Stream 2, which is a gas pipeline connecting from the sea north of Russia into Germany and bringing gas throughout Western Europe. Now, this Nord Stream 2 pipeline caused the Ukrainian pipeline to become somewhat obsolete. Prior uh, to the building of Nord Stream 2, gas was transmitted from Russia into Western Europe through Ukraine. Seventy percent of that business has gone away. The only three countries now receiving gas through Ukraine from Russia to Europe would be Italy, Austria, and Moldova. The rest of the countries have now gotten their gas from uh, pipeline Nord Stream 2 north of uh, Russia on, on through the waterway into Germany. Now a lot of modernization has taken place in the Ukrainian economy since then. That would include you know uh, high tech and then on the energy side the replacement of gas transmission to into believe it or not electrical transmission from all places very likely from Kiev which is highly radioactive <laughs> By the way, Kiev, where the Chernobyl pipeline uh, 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 had a meltdown, may be where the source of Ukraine's future electrical transmission business in France, of course, is very knowledgeable about uh, nuclear as a source of energy. France is probably the number one country that uh, engage that uses nuclear power for energy yes a radioactive place like either in japan uh, fukushima or uh, ukraine kiev chernobyl these are places that just uh, you know over over abundant with potential electrical energy if it can be harnessed into transmissible electrical energy and this electrical energy can be the future of business into western europe for ukraine still as a transmission but not only a transmission but as a source of electrical energy ukraine kiev the uh, fukushima and other cities around the world where there have been uh, nuclear meltdowns three mile island in pennsylvania indian point power plant in new york where i grew up these may be future sites for electrical energy abundance and uh, export and that seems to be the energy war in ukraine now beyond that uh high-tech hotspot believe it or not so that is the energy story with a war in ukraine what's the political story well uh, there is a treaty a treaty of minsk uh, which uh, concerns Donbass province, which is a, a little bit off to the side. The exact situation in Donbass province is unknown to me at the moment, not fresh in my mind, something that President Putin is very concerned about. Now, the Treaty of Minsk is a very good treaty. I've looked over it. It's at least a couple of years old when it broke down and the recent wars began. The treaty was signed and then suddenly before it could be implemented, war broke out. So I do agree with President Putin, Russian President Putin, in this a treaty, which is a human rights document, basically. And uh, it, uh, uh, it, it, you know, it's like the Magna Carta for, for Ukraine, uh, which is a former Commonwealth of Independent CIS, along with Belarus, stayed with Russia um, after the breakdown uh, due to Gorbachev Ukraine and Belarus did stay with Russia right now Belarus is sending troops into the area although it has to watch its back 
with Poland, which is allied with Germany, France, and the United States. Now, France may have some nuclear power business, uh, no doubt, in Ukraine, as uh, President uh, Macron recently visited. Simon Gardy here for Buckshaw Walter and Ukraine Report.